Here they are. Hey, guys. Hey, that hallway's a little long. Look at the penthouse basements. Starting the second, we got Pete back there who's working in a camera. You can't see him now, you'll see him in a bed. We also got uh, Nick, Dave, David, I'm Jeremy. We're the Penthouse Basements. I'm not going to explain improv to you. You saw three things already, so I think we're just going to get into it. So, first game is genre. In the game of genre, these guys are going to be up here doing a wonderful scene. Unfortunately for them, it's going to have a changing theme of it. So, during the course, this is going to stop the show briefly and say like I need a literary style, a style of film, some plays, type, something like that. So just get those ready in your head to shout them out. So to get them started now, I would like the name of an unwritten film. Unwritten one. If you accidentally say a written one, it might take it. There's no films? They've all Trump. been by Trump. 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 Yeah. <laughs> this is Trump. <laughs> me. I'm great. <laughs> Everyone freaking loves me. Even China loves me. Hey there. I'm Trump too. <laughs> what are you, my freaking clone? I'm tremendous. I'm the most tremendous clone. There ain't room in here for two Trumps. We need to work something out. We need to build a wall is what we need. <laughs> I'll be on this side of the Trump, and you'll be on that side of the Trump. By the way, all nouns, now Trumps. <laughs> Freeze! OK, can I get a film style? Style Ken of film. Ken Burns. Sorry? Ken Burns. Ken Burns, that's the documentary guy? Yeah. OK, so like nature? What does he do? Yeah, like that. Nature, OK, <laughs> nature, <laughs> doc, you guys know enough. Like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump started out from humble beginnings in the Bronx. I'm so freaking humble, it's amazing. <laughs> As we slowly zoom in, you can see that his father didn't love him. Fuck my father, he's a loser. <laughs> this Trump historian now explains. See, the thing with Donald Trump is, um, rough relationship with his father was something that held with him for years. Kind of like Luke Skywalker in Darth Vader. Freeze! Okay, can I get uh, something you'd see on stage? A style of something on stage? A musical. There's not many, yeah. Musical. <laughs> <laughs> musical. I hate everyone. Oh, I hate everyone. Especially the Mexicans. <laughs> I hate everyone. Freeze! Okay. <laughs> Alright, a literary style. Something written down. Anything. A style of something that could be written. Uh, 1800s romance. 1800s awesome. romance. <laughs> <laughs> Very specific romance. Hey, you freaking hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was wonderful. Our next game is called Reunion. In this game, uh, Jeremy and Pete are two old friends from a certain group, uh, and they will be reminiscing about a third member of their group, played by David, who will join us as soon as they have finished reminiscing about a few odd character traits that he has. So, can I get a suggestion for uh, a group that might have a reunion? Boy Scouts. Boy Scouts. This is the Boy Scout reunion. <laughs> Let's keep it clean. <laughs> Be prepared. For me to come to the reunion! Oh, yeah! How's it going? Great, I haven't seen you since we were like Eagle Scouts. I know, and now we're finally here. Yep. We have to be troop leaders. Yep, yep. One, four, three. Two, six, seven. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, the best. <laughs> we must have had drinks here? I don't know, but... Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, you know what I saw coming in? Who? You know who. No. Yes, that's right. No. Yes, Willie Vanilli himself. <laughs> Willie Vanilli? Yeah, he's here. Uh, he's a true player, too. What? They made him a true player? He got all those states expunged from his record? <laughs> 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 no. Hey. 
so well, I, I, don't, I assume he did. Uh, he's here, right? So he probably got it done. Great guy, but he kind of does some annoying things. He does that like farting thing lightly. with the armpit like all the time. I don't know. He still thinks that's in. I don't I know, know he still does it. It's totally like juvenile. I don't know. I mean, it's slightly amusing, but I mean, he just does it nonstop. Oh yeah, like he'll just constantly do it. Like even at like a business meeting or something, he'll just yeah. do it. B business meeting. We have a lot of those. That's right. Yeah. Um, I forgot. Remember that survival in the wilderness merit badge? I can't remember how he did it because, as we all know, every time he wakes up in the morning, he just yells out a blood curling scream and does it every hour oh, on the hour. It's so like I don't oh, understand it. Hair in my neck like how did a bear not eat him? Like that's just like a call for eating. Man, I don't it's get it. Horrible. No, but he's still here, Willie yep. Vanilli. You gotta yeah. love him now. Gotta love him. You gotta love him, yep. despite the fact that he doesn't wear pants, but any clothing that is not pants. Right. He uses that to. George Jeggings. I was thinking more like a t-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. He, 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 he does it yeah. out. Like whatever, just not pants. Yeah, I know. That's just. That's hey, not that that like, oh, 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 hey! Wow, it's. <laughs> Something. Well, uh, once this falls off, I was going to put my Boy Scouts hat over my groin. That's, <laughs> that's very smart. good idea. That's actually. smart. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's close for us. So what else, what else is going on? <laughs> yeah, it's one. It's, it's one for the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> game is a master servant disaster for Nick and Jeremy so uh, what they're gonna do is we're gonna get a setting from the audience and Jeremy will be the master Nick will be the servant and Jeremy will continuously have crazy demands for the servant and all hell will break loose hopefully so what we're gonna need from the audience is a place where the cultural elite or fancy pants rich people may hang out Target. Sushi restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> a sushi restaurant and a Target? Or maybe, uh, maybe just a sushi restaurant. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Master Chef. Uh, yes? What? Are you ready for the great feast we are having this evening? I'm prepared. What can I do for you to get last-minute preparations in order? We have all the most expensive fish, except for the one. The one? The one! Yes. The unituna. The or like unicorn of tuna. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know they brought some in at the fish market just down in Nagasaki. Can you just get it? Just downtown? I will go as quick as my feet can carry me and get you the one and only unituna. Very good. I will continue making everything as we can. Your Majesty, Grand Chef, I just remembered. I see a deficit of Yuna Tuna in your hands. <laughs> just remembered. They are completely out of Yuna Tuna. No! What they have instead is the Duda Fruda. No! Yes. That's like the durian of the fish world. Yes, but it's That's in, awful. It's bountiful. We can have as much of it as we like. Dirt is bountiful. I don't want that. God. You know what? Instead, get me dirt. Dirt. Yes, but not just any dirt. Okay. From the base of Mount Fuji itself. Yes. I need that. <laughs> because I'm going to just grow more rice because I can't handle this duta fruta. Okay. I will go right away, sir. Okay. This... Meal's not for a long time, that's why I can grow the rice. <laughs> we have time. By Mount Fuji, do you mean the pile of poop in the alley behind the restaurant? Because that's what I thought of. The actual mountain, the giant, you know, oh, ugly, like mountain in Japan, okay. that one. Just go there. They have Eastside. suspended air travel, my lord. Uh, <laughs> why did they spend... There has been a Godzilla no. sighting. No. <laughs> Put up the, the tape. Keep it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, he's gone. Okay. Is he? <laughs> should I get the Godzilla bazooka? Of course we should get the. Why are you standing here letting me hug you? Go get it. <laughs> here it is the roach spray. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't work! I need an actual bazooka! Okay, we sold our bazooka last week, so why? we can buy the unit tuna. And there wasn't any unit tuna! You're right! Okay, 
quick. I just need uh, styrofoam. <laughs> Literally, they hate that. It's no styrofoam, <laughs> styrofoam in here. This is not styrofoam. My puppy from home. <laughs> so adorable. He looks vicious, I think. He looks in a few years of some training, maybe he can take on Godzilla. No, he's too cute. Ow! Oof! <laughs> to play is called Moving People, and it's between Dave and David. And in this scene, uh, they are not able to move except with somebody helping them move. They are like mannequins. Uh, so in order to help us out, we need two volunteers who can assist us. Two brave volunteers. I saw one hand go up. Come on up. Come on up. Uh, one more. One more person. Please come on up. Okay. What is your name? is that in order for them to move, you need to do the movement for them. So if you want David to raise his arm, you have to raise his arm. Okay. If you want him to turn his head, you have to turn his head. Okay. If you want Dave to step forward, you gotta touch the back of his leg. Same with the other leg. If you want him to move backward, touch the front of his leg. <laughs> Just like this. They are completely in your control. Okay? Okay, so before we get started, if you could please put each person in a position to start the scene. Whatever you want. While they're doing that, from the audience, we need a suggestion for a place where two people might have a conflict. A place where two people they, might have a conflict. In a parking lot. Parking lot. MMA match. MMA match? Perfect. MMA match. MMA match. Okay, so this is moving people. The scene is MMA match. You're going to be this dead. <laughs> I'm ready to pound you into paste, my friend. I'm not even going to look at you that I'm that good at fighting. I'm just going to flail my arms and knock your teeth out. Why do they call you the welterweight champ, Jimmy the Irish? Well, I'm not even from Ireland. I'm just, I'm just an alcoholic. That's why they call me. Uh, Alright, I'm going to start with a swift Punch to the shoulder. Oh, you are? It's going to be so swift. You're about to see it. Well, it's not going to be that fast because I'm going to have time to block that punch. Watch the swiftness. I'm going to block that punch that's sure to be coming at some point. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. I can't believe my skills. I blocked your punch and it's Uh, Dave and Jeremy, 
And this is called Blind Lines. Uh, earlier, some people filled out some suggestions for uh, song lyrics or quotes from movies. So what's going to happen? Jeremy and Dave are going to be in a regular scene, and at some point, they're going to need some help. So they're going to reach down and grab one of these lines to help them complete their thoughts. So for this suggestion, let me get a unusual place you would have a business meeting at. Walmart. Walmart. It's perfect. <laughs> we love all the superstores this <laughs> You all sell, you're not David! You all sell dance instruction videos? Wait, are you shopping here? You're shopping, I, I don't know you, you don't work for me. Wait a minute, do you I work for me? You? Oh my gosh, you're Jim from high school! Billy! How you What's doing? going on? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I manage this Walmart! No way, in the yeah. same place we grew up? That's right! You're doing awful! I know, <laughs> Slogan for the store. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> that was our old manager. She sucked. <laughs> but that works both ways. Felicia should buy stuff. You're here. She should. Well, she should. She'll walk in and she'll she'll look at your the display right at the front and she'll say, I got one hand in my pocket. <laughs> I bought the money. <laughs> I'm here to replace you. What? I, corporate sent me, and they think it's a good transition for me to get back in touch with the people. So you just said my life was terrible. It's going to get worse. Exactly. Wait, but then you're going to have my life. Yes, but I have a beautiful wife. Crap! What do you got? I got nothing. I just... Never mind, I will find someone like you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, actually, I forgot. They just called me this morning. I am fired, but I get to find my own replacement. <laughs> Doesn't mean it has to be you. Well, then I guess I'm just going to have to impress you. Uh, as my resume indicates, I am fully versed in uh, Shakespeare. That doesn't help. With okay, really, then what type of TV is this? Please read me. Some instructions. Describe how to use this to a customer! The roof is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, the roof is on fire. Oh. Quick! Oh, wow. Whoever puts it out has the job! <laughs> well, you, I don't, you don't know where the fire extinguishers are. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I've got seven up. <clears throat> it's already out. So. <laughs> Looks I like I guess I'm going back to New York City. Don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this next game is for uh, Nick and David, and this is called Switch. So what's going to happen, they're going to be in a normal scene, and at some point, I'm going to say Switch, and they're instantly going to switch characters. Nick's going to become David, David's going to become Nick, right on the fly, it's going to be seamless, it's going to be great, <laughs> don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> and for this suggestion, let me get a uh, underappreciated holiday. Birthdays. Birthdays, perfect. I hate birthdays. <laughs> Oh 
my god, is it an infection or a bee or something? <laughs> Not this time. Turn the keys. The bee. I don't know how to work it. I'm five. <clears throat> Get off the road. Turn and drive. <laughs> get started. What's going to happen is these guys are going to do a rousing Irish drinking song. They're all pumped up. Final final uh, thing of the show for us. So to get them started, for them to get their singing pants on, I want uh, a pet peeve of some sort. Unless you're a peeveless. You're without paper peeves. cuts. Paper cuts. Okay, the paper cut Irish drinking song. No! Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. Oh, and at my job, I play with paper. It is the greatest job. But sometimes paper hates me. Oh, it does so bad. It cuts my fingers. I get to go home, I'm glad. Oh, I need I need I need I need I need I need So I stayed home all day. And I was sick. <coughs> I'd better call my boss real quick. I'm gonna stay home and get my health. I'll also get drunk, full of alcohol wealth. Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. I passed out on the floor. There was lots of blood. I'm covered in the substance. Oh my God, above! I see an angel. It is very white. I say hello, angel. Oh, I say good night. No, I need, 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 I need. I guess I gotta go back to work. Time to do my job. I got to punch the clock. Even though I look like a slob. I can't believe I gotta go back. I'll get another cut in my digit. I think I'll go. Look on my computer, a widget. No, I 